What's going on YouTube? It's Megs from Megs Loves Bananas. It's official. I have sold my iPad 2. I have decided to sell my iPad 2 and my MacBook and upgrade to something new and exciting. If you follow me on Twitter, you know what that is. I'm going to kind of keep it a surprise here on YouTube and um, there'll be a video to come about that exciting new addition to my Mac family. I thought I would do kind of a overall review of several iPad 2 cases that I have, all of which are no-name kind of brand cases, a um, couple from eBay, one from SW Box. So I just have my iPad 2 out here and I thought I would throw them on the, the um, iPad 2 and just kind of give you a quick review just so you can see what other cases are like out there so you're not spending a fortune on name brand cases. So let's get right to it. So the first case we have here is a clear snap on the back case um, from eBay. I have used this and this little corner is broken um, but it still works just fine. So the iPad 2 goes in quite easily. It just kind of clips into these um, four corners and then you just um, snap it into place. When it's on the case um, on the iPad, you can barely tell it's on here. Let's just do a walk around. So the top is completely um, exposed, leaving the microphone and um, and uh, headset jack all open, which is fine. As you can see, a nice cutout around the camera. It's clear, so you can see everything through. So basically, this is just a back scratch protector. As you can see, it does show a lot of scratches, but rather on the case than on your iPad too. Um, a U-shaped cutout right around um, your rotation switch and your um, volume rockers, which is easy to access, obviously. And on the bottom, you have a nice cutout around your speaker grill, your 30-pin connector, which makes it very easy to dock. And as you can see on the side here, um, this is smart cover um, compatible. So let me just grab my smart cover here and show you. This is actually the combination I've been using kind of the most, this clear back. Um, and it just snaps on just like that. So as you can see, it fits on there just perfectly. Um, so this is what I love because I like minimalistic. Um, so this has been a great combination. So that is the snap on the back. The next case I also got from eBay. It is also, I guess, clear. It's like a frosted um, TPU case. I put it on off camera because it is kind of hard to get on. You have to kind of slide it in and then massage these TPU pieces um, over. So let's just do a walk around this case. As you can see on the top, you've got a nice cutout for your headphone jack, easily accessible. A little cutout for your microphone and your vibrate switch is also uncovered and cut out and easy to press. Nice uh, camera cutout right there. Then you have a pill shaped cutout around your mutation switch, easy to access and easy to access vibrate switches. On the bottom, you have a complete cutout right around your speaker grill and around your 30-pin um, dock, um, which is also easily accessible. And this case is also smart cover compatible. It adds a bit more bulk because it's TPU, not as thin as that plastic one, um, but the smart cover fits on here perfectly and works great. So again, another nice combination if you want. Um, it's a bit more rubbery if you like that rubbery feel, a bit more grippier. Um, it adds a bit of thickness, but um, a bit more drop protection than just the clear snap on the back. So that also from eBay was about um, four or five dollars, but I received this case um, from Brian at the Tech Era. Now this is also a TPU style case, however this is a full um, covers the whole I back of the iPad, so it's not smart cover compatible. Um, I received this case from Brian, also from the TechEra.com, and he purchased this from eBay for about, I don't know, between five and eight dollars. Um, so this is just a blue TPU. It's got a frosted back here and then um, clear sides. Really easy to hold with those clear kind of grippy handles. Um, this is a nice just kind of around the house kind of case. Let's do a walk around on this. As you can see, it's similar to that other TPU case. The microphone cutout is pretty good. Or uh, sorry, headphone. Then you got your little mic cutout there. This one has a covered um, sleep awake button, which is, as you can hear, very easy to press. Nice camera cutout. You have a cutout for your mutation. Um, mutation. <laughs> Mute and rotation lock. You could call it a mutation switch. And your volume rockers also are covered and easy to press. 
on the bottom again you have a nice cutout for your um, speaker grill your 30 pin and of course this one has no um, smart cover um, compatible Ness, um, but it has a nice lay on the table with these lips here and so there we go that's a TPU um, from eBay. Now this last case is a silicone case from SW Box. Not 100% sure on the price but I will um, I will find that out and I will put a link to that down below. This case was sent out to me by Jay from I Love Gadget 77. Um, this is a silicone case, so this is probably going to offer you the most amount of drop protection out of all of the cases um, because it's rubber. It's a really nice soft touch, um, but it will potentially you know, be a lint magnet because it is silicone. Um, but it feels really nice, as you can see, incredible amount of lay on the table um, with this huge lip that goes all the way around. Um, and you do have um, nice cutouts around the home button and around the uh, camera at the top, so you don't have any case impediment around that. So let's do a walk around on this case. As you can see, nice cutout again around the um, headphone jack. Because it's silicone, you kind of have to just massage it into place. So there we go for the microphone. You got a covered sleep awake button, which is easy to press. Nice camera button, and again, if you just massage it, um, it'll sit in the right spot. The mute and rotation switch is easy to access, covered volume buttons, speaker grill on the bottom again, nice cutout around there, and a very ample cutout around your um, dock connector, and so you should be able to dock that on any docks. So again, another nice case, really soft touch feel, and so that's going to be it. Just wanted to do um, that quick run around of um, the cases that I had and that I will be getting rid of might even do a giveaway on some of these cases. I, I will be um, selling a couple of the cases with the iPad, um, but whatever's left will probably go back to you guys, the people. So that's going to be it for me. I hope that you like this review of um, kind of no-name knockoff cases, and that's going to be it for me, and I will catch you all later with a reflection of my, where is she, Christmas tree? Cheers.